Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. We just recently finished up with a big spatchcock turkey on the Big Joe, but with Christmas coming up shortly, I think we're going to do another turkey this season. I'm going to take a 20 pounder and we're going to cook it on the Big Joe on the Joe Tisserie. So let's get started. Okay, I've taken this 20 pound turkey out of the packaging. I've completely thawed this bird. I have let it, I've rinsed it off. I've patted it completely dry with towels. And I've also gone ahead and trussed this bird up. Uh, I haven't bothered to show you the trussing process here. There's a lot of videos on YouTube on how to truss a turkey, but I wanted it trussed up tight and I've tucked the wings up underneath. So I'm going to put this on a rack and I'm going to put it on a pan and I'm going to put that back in the refrigerator overnight uh, to uh, let this thing air dry in the fridge before we uh, fire up the Kamado Joe Big Joe in the morning to get this started. Okay, I've got the Big Joe set up with the firebox divider splitting across the middle here and I've just put some aluminum foil in the front side to help with cleanup down the road. So I'm going to put a few pieces of charcoal back here on the back side and I've got two Kamado Joe fire starters in place and I'm going to light both of those up. And I'm going to let those burn for just a moment or two here. And then you'll just want to put a couple of large pieces of charcoal right on top of those. And we're going to let that burn. And today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do this rotisserie cook with the lid open for the whole cook. So I'm just going to let this burn while I go get the turkey ready. Okay, I pulled this thing out of the refrigerator. We've let it air dry in there overnight. And what I've done is I have just melted some butter and I'm going to use my injector and we're going to inject every few inches in this meat with this just plain melted unsalted butter. Okay, and now that I have that injected, uh, we're just going to let it continue to sit here and rest while we get the grill ready. Okay, I've brought my turkey out here and I've got it on the jotisserie and while it's spinning, I'm going to rub it with a light coat of olive oil on the outside just while it's spinning here. And while it's spinning, I'm just going to shake on some uh, seasoning blend. You can use any kind of seasoning blend you like on here. And we're just going to let this guy spin. And as we need to add charcoal, we'll just toss some extra blocks of charcoal in there. And we're going to let this guy cook completely with the lid open today. Okay guys, I just want to give you a quick update. We've been going for an hour and 40 minutes here and this turkey's really starting to take on some nice color. I haven't checked the temperature of the meat yet because uh, it's got a good ways to go. So we're just going to let it cook. I just kind of wanted to give you an update here and let you see where we are and what our setup looks like. Like I said, I have the foil in the front half here and it's catching a good bit of grease that I'm not going to have to clean out of my grill because it's being caught in the foil and I'm gonna move the camera around here so we can kind of see what's going on back here. I've got charcoal in there. I've added two or three small pieces of charcoal since we started and I'll continue to add charcoal throughout this cook as needed but uh, it's not gonna take a whole lot. You don't have to worry about the vent settings here. I've got the bottom vent fully open on this grill but it wouldn't matter one way or the other so we'll just let this keep cooking. Okay, we've been going about two hours and 25 minutes here or so, so I'm going to stop this when it comes back around and we're going to check the temperature of the meat and see where we are in this cook. Bring that breast back up to the top side here and we'll have a check. Okay, we've been, we're about 120 in there, so we've got a good ways to go, so we'll just let it keep right on cooking. Okay, we've been going for three hours and 30 minutes, so it's time here to take another temperature reading on this bird and see where we are. We're getting there. We're getting close. We're up to about 140, a little over 140 degrees, and I'm shooting to go to about 150, so we'll let it keep right on cooking. 
Okay guys, we've been going here roughly four and a half hours and this 20 pound turkey is ready. I'm getting about 152 degrees or so in the thick part of the breast which is right where I wanted this to be. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take it inside, take it off the spit and tint it with foil and let it rest for about 20 or 30 minutes before we cut it apart. Now my time on this bird at four and a half hours, that's going to be a variable, obviously, because if you try to set up and cook this the same way I'm doing it here, your heat's going to be different because there's nothing really precise about what we've done here. So uh, just keep that in mind if you try this. So we'll be back shortly to have a look. Okay, guys, I've let this bird rest, so I am going to uh, break it down a little bit here. I'm going to first take the leg quarter off. And then I'm going to take one of the breasts off as well. And then I'm just going to take some slices into this breast. Okay guys, let's have a little piece of this. Man, it's just super tender. Man, that is fantastic. Beautiful. I love the char and the flavor you get on the exterior of these rotisserie birds. There's nothing that matches that. You cannot duplicate that in an indirect roasting environment. The closest thing you can do is a direct cook with a spatchcock where you keep flipping it, but this is, this is fantastic. Uh, cooking with the lid open is optional. It's just something I wanted to do. I wanted to try. You could reduce the cook time on this turkey by cooking with the lid closed. It'll keep it hotter all the way around the bird. But uh, I think you might get a little something extra with the skin on a bird where you've got a longer uh, contact with the direct flame through the longer spin. It's really delicious. So guys, give this a try sometime. Let me know what you think. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Kamado Joe. Follow us on Twitter at Kamado Joe. And until next time, this is John Setzler with Kamado Joe Cooking Channel.